Even though Mexico is a very large country, there are not many native Mexican dog breeds. But those few breeds who actually are native to Mexico are very interesting and unique. In this video, I will show you all the dog breeds from Mexico. Number 1. Chihuahua Let's start the video with the most famous Mexican dog breed, the Chihuahua, which is also the smallest dog in the world. But don't be fooled by their tiny size, these little pups have big dog personalities. They are very alert, active and they love to bark, a lot. The Chihuahua is probably very old and ancient dog breed that evolved from already extinct the Chi Chi dog. But the history of Chihuahua is surrounded by mystery as there are not many records from Aztecs and from the pre-colonial era. Chihuahuas are named after the Mexican state of Chihuahua, where they were found in high numbers by Spanish conquistadors in the 16th century. What is interesting about Chihuahua is the variety of colors, coat types and head types. You can truly say that each Chihuahua is unique as they come in almost any color possible. There are applehead, deerhead and pierhead Chihuahuas and each one of them can have either smooth or long coat. If you would be interested to learn more about Chihuahua types, I am giving you link in description to my another video about this topic. Number 2. Calupo from one of the most popular breeds to one of the rarest. The Calupo is also known as Mexican Wolf Dog and indeed there are crosses between Mexican Grey Wolf and a common dog. Again, its history is not very well documented, but it is believed that they are part of Mexican culture for hundreds of years and thanks to that they are considered as cultural Mexican symbol. Later, the Calupo almost went extinct and it's almost impossible to find the original Calupo these days. But in 1990s, a genetic project has been developed with the aim of recreating the wolf dog and save it from extinction. Number 3. Sholoids Quintley the dog with one of the hardest names to pronounce is definitely the Sholoids Quintley, also known as Mexican hairless dog. The name is derived from the god's name Xolotl and its Quintley means dog in the language of Aztecs, so it is literally a god's dog. Again, we don't know much about their history, but ceramic sculptures of hairless dogs were found in large numbers in burial sites in ancient West Mexico. It is believed that ancient Xolos were sacrificed to gods and buried with their own to guide their souls to the underworld. Just like Chihuahua, even the Xolowitz Quintley has several varieties. They come in three sizes, toy, miniature and standard and they can either be completely hairless but also coated. Number 4. Chamuco the Chamuco, also known as Mexican Pitbull, is the only Mexican breed with a relatively short history. It was developed in 1970s by crossing today already extinct Mexican Bulldog, probably some Mexican Street Dogs and Staffordshire and Pitbull Terriers. These dogs are also known as Devils and they possess very tenacious and intense personality and very big strength and agility. Because of that, they are oftentimes used for illegal underground dog fights. But when they are raised with normal old they make great, gentle, loving and absolutely faithful family companions. Number 5. Mexican Street Dog The number 5 in this video is actually not a breed but Mexican stray dogs. The problem with abundant street dogs in Mexico is enormous. There are millions of stray dogs all over the country which are very often killed by country authorities. Very often these dogs are treated absolutely inhumanely and cruelly, but they are still dogs capable of being the same great companions just as any other purebred dog. They deserve a chance from us, from people. If you are from Mexico, you can always consider adopting one of the stray dogs instead of purchasing a purebred dog. And if you are not, you can consider supporting one of the rescue stations in the Mexico, for example Barb's Dog Rescue or Compassion Without Borders. Links are in description. Tell me in comments which Mexican dog breed is your favorite, do you own some and what is your experience with it? If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check the Rocadox links in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.